Hello, gang. Welcome back once again to Last Train Home. Whoop, turn this around. This is probably going to be mostly a loot and salvage resource vid, but we shall find out. First things first. Oh. An excellent point was made to me. I've got lots of resources stocked up. That's probably all the weight I'm dealing with. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Text message suddenly comes in. And, you know, I can do a lot of improvements to, you know, do things with that. Right quick, though, let's see. Got four artillery shells. I've used some. Let's do another one. Get one up and going. Pairs and upgrades. Let's see, increase work efficiency. Uh, occupancy slots by ten percent. Take four hours. Hey, no, close it. How am I looking? Oh, my time is my threat level is good. Okay, I'm gonna do some improvements, but f you know what? First, huh. it has also been suggested, yo. I can work the numbers, finagle things to have you know, more people in squads, even take people off jobs like cooking and stuff, to put them in squads to be carrying stuff and take care of weight. But I cannot have troops getting an extra storage card to ride along. So, an extra infantry car it is. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I can't. Wait, I can't organize it? I can buy it, but I can't organize. Alright. Ah, my headphones are sitting bad there. Ow, for some reason. Sitting uncomfortably, causing a mild bit of pain. Weird. Well, I can't reorganize how the cars are positioned, so let's just get in here. And naturally start taking a look at this one. I only got one person who can do work. Because I've got everybody in squads. Dang it. Engineer and worker, all right. Let's get some people down. I get some work done. Leave everybody that's Z's. And out. Let's see. He's got no. Working slots. It's gotta be one of the new guys. I think he is too. Huh. Let's look at some of my vets. Okay. Goes down. He's got both, so go on down. Got both. Go on down. Dillson has both. Okay. Let's see what that did to my storage. Okay. Ooh, you know what else I could do? Didn't even think about it. There we go. Let's get some stuff put in. Hold first. Press a fire. Make sure everybody's... Head down, passive increased defense. When healing or stabilizing injured. That sounds good. Dangerous mind, intelligence to do more damage. Oh, 
Oh, hey, sleeping flask. And getting four of them out of the inventory, that'll help to lower weight. Okay, good. Now let's go do some stuff. All right, let's start that. 40 minutes. 54, okay. See if I can find anything else, anything in the other cars. I should go to the... Oh, wow, it's 10 cars with the train. Dang. 125. Increased chance of receiving damage from burning fuel. Hmm. 70 metal to decrease received damage to the train. Car and soldiers inside by 50%. 70 metal, 3 hours. Let's mm -hmm. do it. That's good. Alright, guess I'm going to skip forward. Alright, gang. Sat here for several hours. It's now 15.58 in the evening. So, and it was like 11. So, yeah, I've sat here for a good six hours. Threat is up to 29%, but I took care of all five of the heating upgrades for the new troop car. So, I got that done. Next, we'll start in on the living space comfort and such. But first, let's get going and... Oh, what are you doing there? Let's double check all the cars, make sure I got nobody working anywhere on anything. Get back to the shop car. I got two minutes. Yeah, let's leave it as it is. Actually, I want to see something. The research is. 30 metal, 35 powder. Improved blast radius of explosive grenades. Let's actually move that up there. And six hours. I will work on that over time. Get it knocked out tomorrow during the day. Alright, for now. Let's get moving. I don't need that. Let's go. Mm. Alright, we're gonna move up. I'll get up in here. Probably like right up here. I'll kick off a team to there. From here. And then probably come to a stop in here. Send a team there. Strong team there. Or a team I said there. I'll probably send back over there and then bring them in. Alright, let's move it forward. Hmm. Alright, pause. Alright, first I want to figure out who's got that. Nope. Hold up. It glows. Look at that. It highlights. It glows when you're on the individual with the skill. Nice. Andre, go ahead and step down. Alfred, step on out. He's got both of those. Okay. Now let's rework first squad. First things first. Magda. Right. Add you in because you've got the housekeeping. 
Wait a minute. Fulgix got the housekeeping as well. I can keep her out of here. And he's got both of those. Oh, he's going to be good on here. All right. Now, I need Alfred. Go as a rifleman. Let's cut loose the extra. Folk. Wait a minute. I just. No, okay. Oh, this is nice. I can just see who lights up what. So he's extra. What's he got? Shaky hands. Increased time to aim. Deceitful character. Okay. Confirm. Actually, you know what? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Deploy. Now, over to there. <coughs> I'm gonna need a new squad with that. Let's do that right quick. They've got nothing, so... Yeah, but he's got my herbalism. I'm going to need that elsewhere. Thought I had somebody else. Dang it. I need the burglar skill. What, anything. I don't Andre in, in that squad. Shoot. Get back here. All right. Now, I need Andre. Where's he at? There we go, Andres. Um. I want to add a couple. There we go. That will help with weight of materials in storage. Now send to them. Alright, over there. Create a new squad. Alfred's up, go as a rifleman. That's all I need for over there, so... Shoot, let's... Who's useless and other stuff? Strong appetite. Well trained. Caring. Go ahead. Okay. One sec. He wants a grenadier to get you skilled in the ability to use. Landmines faster. And... Right, right, right. Oh, that's both for him. Okay. Eagle Eye Nature. Dignified. Martin, yeah, you go ahead. Let's work on moving you up. Confirm. And. Send. 
Alright. Now I'll get up in here and send out the other squads. Like that. I didn't realize I need to know. Hello? There we go. Got a better idea on when I started what? Keeping the video to a decent length. Valkyrie Partisans 4. Not much happened in the village, although there was certain uneasiness in the face of the lo face of the locals. No we dared to speak, but the more empathic of your soldiers felt that the Czech Legion was not welcome there. Two of your soldiers talked to a group of men. The men looked like they already visited a few pubs. One of the local men, the one who was drunk at least, was passionately describing the story he heard in the pub. A nun Another one of those about mythical heroes of the Civil War. Go ahead and listen. We never back away from a good story. There's a soldier from the White Army, but he was not from the White Army at all. He was a Red Army spy. Burnley believed in their cause. His task was to infiltrate the White Army. Dressed in a white uniform, he traveled to one of the outposts, joined the White Army, but... But... Uh, he fell in the mountains, or woods, or somewhere, and... He screamed and screamed, but there was nobody that could hear him. All of a sudden, this beautiful Lady Angel appeared, coming down from the hills towards him. She had long, dark hair, white wings, and a staff of gold. She smiled at him and said he would survive. Then he fell unconscious. When he woke up, his wounds were healed. His uniform clean, but his weapon was not there. She took it. She saved him, but took the weapons so that he could not kill anybody. But, but she was not an angel. She was a member of the Valkyrie Partisans. Maybe even Elena Pavlichenko herself. Their soldiers chatted for a while longer in a relaxed atmosphere. We heard everyone to return to the train. They wished the locals well and said their goodbyes. Martin told the villagers not to drink so much for the rest of the day. They agreed and started to sing and aimed for another pub. Ugh! Allergies and crap. Let's see, that was there? Yes. Merchant! What have you got? Stems. Cue stems. drastically depleted mine in previous missions. But I have things to trade. Yeah. I try to have a machine gun. I may as well actually got a little ammo for it. Just a little. Alright. Hmm. I'm good otherwise. I keep wanting to get more money because it's just the way things have gone. There we go. back here. Our morale is high. That's good. Eh, that can keep going up here a little bit. Those aren't going to take any time. 
Go ahead and stop the train. Boop. Boat ready. As empty as it looked from afar. The owners left behind some things we could use. Here's what we found. Some bedding and old clothes. Really? Just 101 cloth. Okay. Get back to the train. Now for the train. Start upping some of the things. Mm, I'm going to run short on wood if I go into all that. Got to send guys out to feasible get more, so... Yeah, go ahead. Mm. Uh, actually, let's get the squads sent out first. All right. Let's set that squad up. All right. Let's see. And to them. Go ahead with the machine gunner. Now, it's going to need. Kamal, gonna need you for the survive survivalist. Um, gotta send you as a scout, sharpshooter, and I need the hunter thing. Ah, the new guy. Where's Max? I don't see Max. Max must be in the. Why don't I see Max? Where's Max? Highly efficient unless they have to work with others. Man. What? I'm not seeing Max. Alright. Get them sent. Let's find out where the heck... Ma what is Max doing? Max, 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 where is he? Max! Ah, oh, he's down! He's exhausted and down. If he reaches 100%, he'll be back. Okay. Well, he better be bloody well resting. They're going there. I need a strong squad to go here. Strong or work efficient. Hmm. Look through right quick. There we go. Sturdy plus one fitness. That doesn't actually help with, like, that does. Plus 15 work efficiency. Yeah, yeah, send him as a scout. Let's see now. What is... Vigorous nature recovers stamina faster. Well, that's nice. weak. That does not help. Well, shoot. And let's... Somebody else in there. I know I've got more people with better stats than this, but dang it. Clearly got them assigned elsewhere. Probably into the other squad. 
in a big squad. Okay, man, he's out of storage. So let's go look at that. All right, now let's see. Bedrick is right here. Yep, send him. All right. Now let's look to see if. All right. And there we go. Low profile. All right. There we go. And let's find and send them. Deploy. There we go. Squads are out. Now let's go back here to this. Don't need to be done that quick. Although, with it being done that quick, I can do more stuff. All right. Ah! Ah! Uh, good! That's good to hear. All right, everybody's coming out, coming back in. As soon as three gets in, I'll send them up there. Made level two. Good stuff. Wait a minute, I saw a thing. Okay. Keep going. Here we go. Lumber. Made to be found and taking down a few good trees. Plus 94. No bonuses or anything. Alright. Oh, come on back to the train. How's that looking? All right, further comfort. I can either do one of the more advanced or I don't need the living spaces. Let's get the increased stamina recovery by an hour, one per hour. First. Anything up here we can take care of that needs it. Additional, three additional recovery beds. That might actually be a better option. Hmm. Though, I do have other options out here. Okay, current off function, increased durability, repair speed. Use durability repair cost by 50%. Already got that. Mm. I need a lot of wood. Wait a minute. Okay, all that is maxed. That's good. That's good. This is stuff to do with the boiler. Alright. Hmm. Should increase the hospital car, I think. That's going to be important. I'm doing that. Hmm. 38 minutes. Now, over here, I've got 90 wood left. 
I can't do that. You know what? I'm just going to wait on it. Go here, actually. Why is it putting... Oh, so be it. Alright. Let's get everybody back. As much as possible, anyway. Crap, what was that? That's not done. Ah, Ivan! Faint hard, cannot do combat, short sighted. Dude. Cook and medic. What's he currently doing? Resting and cooking. Cooking at night? He should be in there during the day, but okay. Engineer, he or worker. He can do either one. Base worker stuff. Why not? All right. I don't want to see something. Uh, why is he? Ivan, work on it during the day. There we go. Let's see who's doing. Anybody who can. Vlad is doing nothing. Good night. The day he's a scout. Let's get Vlad cooking at night. No. I've been during the day. Mm. Vlad at night. There we go. Alright. Oh, that was the train car ding ding. Good stuff. Alright. That's why it stopped us. They showed up in the hunting zone. We gathered what was usable. Which was affected by Samuel's hunter trait. He got some game. Camels. Camille. It's really helpful. And Samuel is herbalism. 45 food, 68 herbs. Good stuff. Come on back. Let's get the train moving for a little bit. I'll have to stop so they can get on, but... Crud. Oh, Major, may I have a minute? Of course, Captain, speak your mind. I wish to discuss the situation with the family we are escorting. I feel we should rethink this regardless of our orders. What do you think we should do? I know Madame Demidova mentioned Pergler, and our provincial government ordered us to help her. But if they are members of the Tsar's family, God help us. Neither side would allow us that kind of leverage, Major. Thankfully, it seems no one knows anything for sure. The Reds or Whites, for that matter, suspect anything. I don't believe we'd have made it this far. Are you saying we're in danger? A day! Yes. What do you advise? Well, your board's eyed Kydek looks away, scratching his chin. Many are Tsarists. Some are not. They are not the Imperial Ru Russian Army anymore, Major. I fear they would intervene and endanger the family. If not from enemy agents, then from sheer incompetence. My daughter is about the same age as the girl, Anastasia. 
I do not like the idea of her being used in some political power play, much less executed. She or her siblings didn't choose their noble blood. What do you advise? There's a possibility that, Red Ar that the Red Army will be waiting for us. That would put the family at risk. My advice is to leave them on the outskirts of a town with an escorts. escort. Escort. One of our soldiers? Yes, a few of them have already discussed this matter with me. I appreciate you listening to my advice, Major. What are your thoughts? I'll make a decision when we get closer. Orders, orders, but... I see. Very good. We'll discuss it then. Thank you. Alright. Pull it up. Come on, guys. Jump on. Alright. Let's get going. I want to get up here. Hit there. Get up here. See if I can reorganize things a bit. I did warn this was likely to be mostly a uh, recourse, resource acquisition video. I made level two cook. Good. Good stuff. Keep working on it. Where's my merchanting squad? Right there. Go for it, gentlemen. Thank you. Oop. Let's see now. I made an upgrade over here. Oh, look at that. That's nice. I don't have anybody in here, though, so no worries there. But once I get someone in, I can quickly do... Do I need to look at? What's the wear and tear on the cars? Hmm. Basic repairs. Hmm. I'm gonna believe this was the other one that was badly off. Let's get some repair repairs done. But we don't need all that fast. It's 16 minutes. If I do it in 16, they can get done quick and they can get back. Yeah. Alright, let's get them. You know what? That does plus 20%, so... Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get some of the others. Up to snuff. There we go, freight. I'm burning a lot of metal on this. But I'm getting like cars patched up too. Alright. There we go, merchant. What's he got? I'll take all of that. Don't need the smokes. Let's see. Grenadier short rifle. Does he have one of those? Yes. Give me one. Let's toss one over there. Hmm. Wish he had a sniper's rifle. That would be beneficial. I'm good on other supplies.
Yeah, the rest I need, you know, I need tier 3 stuff at this point. That's what I need to be looking for. All right. We're doing really good. Fully fed removes hunger and starving status. Plus to morale. Full morale. You know what? I don't have to buy train cars anymore. Get back here. Alright. Where are they? Here we go. I've got 10 cars. I am maxed to the max. Alright. Let's move it out. And fast forward. I need wood, so... Oop. Level 5 engineer. Nice. My night driver on the train. Do not have a role open for him. Let's see. She is normally grenadier and machine gun. Why do I? Because she's careless and clumsy. Should really look at bringing her in better. I'm sending her out on a few things. Get her other levels up. But she can do that as a grenadier. She good for worker? Yeah. In which case, I can just up her fitness, i.e. hit points. Alright. Go! Oh, the train stops at the station. Some of your troops hop off to stretch their legs and get some fresh air. When the locals notice them, they start whispering to each other. One of them rushes off somewhere, making some of the legionaries nervous. Well, you Supposed to have your guns on you, boys. After a short while, the local reappears with several other people. Legionnaires! They run towards your train, smiling from ear to ear. It seems they've been waiting here for a while, hoping for a legion train to take them on to Vladivostok. Your soldiers give them a warm welcome. Help them with their belongings, and then all board the train. Holy crap, buying the troop car was the right choice. Damn! Thank you, those that told me to do that. Oh! Grenadier Engineer. Dude is a cook worker. Is he the pacifist? Oh, let's check him out. Stefan, Sergeant. Level 4 Grenadier. Level 3 Engineer. Very nice. What we got? Diligent, monarchist, focused, short-sighted, decreases sight radius. I think I'll have to travel with others in combat. Ludwig, level four cook, level three worker. He's faint-hearted, cannot take a combat role. He's going to take over nighttime cooking. Nighttime duties in, in the cook car. At least for now. Philippe. Sergeant. Level 4 scout. Level 3 worker. Good to go. He's stout. Decreases the efficiency of cover. He's a hunt, another hunter. Yes. Focused. Monarchist. Team player. Works great with others, but gets lost when alone. Dude! Hell yeah! Aldrich, Sergeant. 
Level 2 Medic. Level 4 Doctor. Dude! He's ruthless and re has religious beliefs. Down to the train car. Alright, where am I at? There. Hmm. Vlad, out you go. Alright, now where's Vlad? I want to make sure he's not the pacifist in this. No, he's good. Okay. Where's the new pacifist? So, was that Ludwig? Yes. Now. Curiosity. Mm -hmm. Ivan. Yeah. Ivan and... Oh, wait a minute. Curiosity. Right quick. Station. Darn it. I can't realign everything. Level 2 handgun. Ah. I've got level 2s. I'm good. And I can't realign the train. Dang it. All right. Back here. He's already here. I want to assign a boost. Nope, nope, nope. Not him. Ugh, boy heck. Ivan. Yes, I am putting people with no combat capabilities or skills in the newest car. Hmm. Alright, let's see these guys. going to be Philip where's he at he looks like a bear there he is good stuff I'm tempted I know it doesn't matter for the game shouldn't, in theory. But I know just... For me, I'm tempted to do a female, predominantly mm -hmm. female car. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, give me a sec. Because this car is complete. It's got everything there for comfort and everything. I'm going to leave guys in here, but I'll move all the ladies in here. All right, there we go, gang. I didn't, like, pick and choose or go through traits. I just... Top row. Yeah. Brought in all the ladies. All right. Now. That is incredible. All right. That was definitely a good choice. All right, let's get moving. Ah! As your train departs, you notice there's a commotion in the corridor. Lead it. Upon leaving your cabin, a soldier dra drags you to the window and urges you to look. As someone is 
pursuing the train on horseback. With some surprise, you observe that it is true. Man dressed in a Cossack uniform with the white army insignia is indeed chasing your train. To the amazement of you and your soldiers, he manages to catch up. He then stands on his horse and jumps aboard. You see your soldiers pull him inside. You walk swiftly down the train and reach the last car where the Cossack is standing, still breathing heavily, inside a circle formed by your soldiers. They're all looking at each other nervously. As soon as the Cossack spots you, he begins to speak. Please, stop the train so I can get back on my horse as soon as I've delivered my message. All right, it's probably dumb, but not to one of your soldiers who rushes to tell the engineer. Just pull the cape. Cabled. Anyway, nervous man in front of you does his best to impress. He adopts a stiff military stance and displays no emotion. However, you can see he's clearly exhausted. He's probably been looking for you for days, barely stopping to sleep. Major, I have a message from our lieutenant. He needs you to help us defend an airfield. I've been told not to return until I find you. You can ask for anything you want as a reward. We will look into it. After realizing he's finally succeeded in his mission, his body gives into his and he falls to the floor. As your soldiers revive him with food and water, he professes his thanks. After giving you the position of the airfield, he departs the train. One moment. All right, gang. Rags and bones help the whites defend an airfield. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's right there. All right. Takes tw 12 energy to do it. Three skull. Some good rewards. Recommend squad size five. You know I'm going to go with a full 10. I mean, come on. Last time I did that, with that old grain or anything, if I'd only set the five they recommended, I'd have been overrun and wiped out. All right, I'm going to put the squad together. And we'll head in there next episode. This one might be a little short. I'm not sure of the exact time, but oh, missions like that usually take two episodes, so let's knock that out next week. Thank you for joining me. Leave your thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions down below. Hit that like or dislike, subscribe if you haven't already. More important than anything, though, there's something or someone important to you. Matters in your life. Then whether you choose to get up and out face-to-face -face with other people, or stay behind the safety and or stay behind the safety of your keyboard or just pick up the phone call a friend or family member let them know you were thinking of them that they matter however you choose to do it mm. get involved and make a difference but take care stay safe I am the articulate grunt I hope to catch you next time but for now I'm out from here bye